Hey, welcome to Paddleboard Places. Today we're in Blue Spring, Florida. Just and north of uh, Orlando, about an hour. Yeah, and I like your shirt. Yeah, you like our Paddleboard Places we're shirts? Gonna, you can have one of these for only five payments of $59.99. <laughs> Today we're going to tell you how, where, why, what, and what you're going to see out paddleboarding at Blue Spring. And we're hoping that we see some manatees because this is the season and they're supposed to be around here. The, the head count of manatees today was 63. According to the sign. So we're hoping we see at least 30 or 40 of them. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but come with us. It's going to be a good day. Blue Spring State Park is north of Orlando. Follow Highway 4 and follow your map to the park. Pulling up to the entrance of Blue Spring State Park. Where we are headed today. It's right at the end of this road. Looks a little busy. Hopefully we get in. It says today's manatee count is 63. So our fees at six dollars per vehicle. Two to eight people. Four dollars if you're by yourself. And two dollars a person if you walk in. Very affordable. Here's the parking lot. Here's where we parked. Blew up our boards. Okay, there's a lot of walking trails over there. You can walk. Look at the springs. There's restrooms, a little outpost. And then you walk this way with your boards or kayaks to go to the race. Okay, so you pass the uh, playground. The launch spot is right past the kayak rental building it's a little bit of a truck well, my man thinks he can carry both he claims it's easier this amazing tree so you can rent kayaks right here and looks like canoes and here's where you launch here are the rental prices for the kayak, canoe, and paddleboard start at $22 an hour. It ranges all the way up to $65 at the highest for a full day. You know, I talked to one of the locals about where to go. Uh, to the right over here is where the spring is and all the manatees are in it because we're in the winter. But he said if you want to see them, because we can't go into the spring right now, go to the lagoon on the left. He said a lot of boats won't go in there or can't go in there and that's where you'll see the manatees. So that's our goal today, to paddleboard and see manatees. And uh, we're ready to roll. Right, Allison? Yep. Okay, so we just left the launch. There's the river. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's about four o'clock. How you feeling? <laughs> There's one in front of you. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so, so we've had uh, one too many things jump up around us that did not look like a manatee, but perhaps was an alligator. And uh, we're gonna hightail it out of here for a little bit and see what we see on the other side. It's just a perfect example of Florida swampland. Unbelievable, all those crazy trees, the buzzards in the tree, if that's what they are. It's peaceful. That might be because no one comes here because of the alligators. We're just cruising down the river. I don't know if we're going down or up or what, but enjoying some sights, getting a little workout in. We're just going to go to this green sign marker and turn around and see if we can see more manatees down by the springs. Paddled to the little mile marker and now we're going to head back towards the springs. There's some pretty little inlets. There's some kayakers down there. I'm a little spooked, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure I wanna go in there. Fear of gators. So the boats are supposed to go real slow through here because it is manatee zone. You see that sign? Idle speed, no wake. Hear how quiet it is? Amazing. We're gonna go check out this area with the lily pads. So this here to my right is an island and there are lily pads all around it. And we were just commenting that if we weren't here to see the manatees, we would probably loop this island and go check everything out. We're so enamored by 
manatees since we're from the West and have never seen them before that that's kind of where our focus has been most of the day. But there's a lot to see here. There's a lot of places you can go and uh, it's just peaceful as can be. Granted, we're here on a an evening about five o'clock, so it'd probably be a lot probably be a lot busier during the day. But it is gorgeous, calm water right now. Lots of birds here. Love that too. All right, so right now, because of the manatees, we're not allowed to go in the spring. There's signs and buoys all the way around. You'll see those. But you can sit here and you can see them, especially the ones that have a GPS tracker on them. Those are kind of fun. Let's see if I can see one. Where did our, our last tracker go? There's a tracker you can see. I'll show you right there. That's connected to the manatee. So if you see one of those in the water near you, you know what that is. That's a manatee under it. And here you can see some bubbles coming up. The manatees are just all around here in the spring. I'm sure that they head out this way as well. We just haven't seen any here and the water gets a lot darker fast out here. You having a good time, honey? Now that you didn't get eaten by an alligator. <laughs> trying to get a good pick of these manatees for you right here. They're just so hard to see from this angle. I wish I could swim in, but I cannot cross the buoy line. There's Allison trying to get some shots with GoPro. But uh, they are amazing. You gotta come here. And there's the one that has the GPS tracker on it. The manatee there's the manatee there's Allison <laughs> wow that is amazing look at that, that It was easy for us to give Blue Spring perfect tens across the board. A lot of variety, a lot of adventure. You know that alligator area? Meh. It was sketchy. But it all ended well. Yep, because we saw the manatees. Okay, everyone, that was Blue Spring. Absolutely love those manatees. It was incredible. Unbelievable. We, I can hear them behind us right now breathing. <laughs> it was worth the drive up from Orlando. I'd do it again. About an hour drive. Yeah. Now keep in mind that manatees aren't here all year long. As far as we know, we believe they're here in the winter, which is November to March. They come into the warm water. The they, springs are warm. Yep. So they have the springs blocked off, like we said, but we were right here on the edge and, and we saw a few and it was awesome. Loved it. Would do it again in a heartbeat. So come to Blue Spring. And it's a beautiful paddle. Yeah. We could could have gone exploring much more, but we we really wanted to focus on the manatees. It was manatee day. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, and until next time, keep paddling everyone. <laughs>